Hey YouTube, Sam here with my brother Justin. As per usual today, we are going to take a look at the new Temporal Forces. I believe it's Walking Wake. Um, it's based off of Suisun. Sorry if I butchered that name, but... Suicune. It is what it is. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open this bad boy up. Justin cut this for me a little bit, so we didn't have to wrestle with it. But, um, you know, it's still sealed. We just kind of pre-open it just so we don't waste time. But specifically, I got this one from the Pokemon Center, it, as you can see on the top. So it is a Pokemon Center ETB, uh, which means we're going to get extra goodies in it. It's always going to be like extra packs and a promo card, stuff like that. Um, so let's jump into it and see what we get. I'm pretty sure we're all familiar of what comes in an ETB by now. So I'm not going to, you know, I'll show it off real quick and then we'll move on. I'm so happy that uh, after the 151 ETBs and they had the little paper booklets, they got trashed so hard, man. Yeah, dude. I, I I mean, yeah, I don't know. I'm not a. I wasn't a fan of the the texture on the the Pokemon 151 book. It just felt like a really cheap material. Oh yeah. I I like the, this version's like way better. But anyways, so here are going to be our chase cards. Uh, the Iron Leaf CX here. I'll go ahead and show you guys that. And then the Iron Crown. These are currently the two most valuable at, at the timing of this recording. I mean, it's going to fluctuate a lot, but those two are the are the top two chase cards in the set. Um, but yeah, so, you know, just a normal booklet shows you the card set list. And then, you know, you're going to see like your ultra rares and then your SIRs as per usual. Uh, I've looked at this set a little bit, nothing too crazy. I haven't memorized uh, the sets like I usually do, but I did take a gander and, uh, you know, there are some cool cards in here that I'd be interested in pulling. So let's see what we can get here. It's a shame that they didn't keep the, uh, you know, the, what is it called? Look at this. Oh, it's stuck. And then look at this. Oh, it's stuck. I'm, I'm wondering if they do that on purpose now. <laughs> yeah, it's but, like a little so, treat. Well, because they always get lost, right? Like, I feel like, uh, like, you know, if you if you didn't know not to look in there, you could completely just like take this out, right? And then you're just gonna like throw it away. Yeah. Like imagine being like a newbie, this is your first ETB and you just don't know any better. But uh, sorry to interrupt you, go ahead, man. Uh, I was gonna say but uh, it's, it's it's unfortunate that the gold cards that they put back in this set weren't like the green, green teal colored ones. Cause you really like that. You pulled a Kuridon. Uh, gold card which had that teal sort of coloration to it and they did not do that again with this set yeah that is unfortunate i like those versions a lot better than just like the normal gold cards i thought i thought i mean i don't know i don't know how people feel about it i haven't really like looked into if people like it or not but i yeah i mean i really like that design way better than just the normal regular gold cards yeah um this is going to be the promo it's going to be fluttermane and it's gonna have the Pokemon Center stamp. I'm not gonna open this because the only thing that's gonna be behind it is the same exact card without the stamp. So in the Pokemon Center ATBs, you get two promos instead of one. It's the exact same card, except one has a stamps promo that obviously sells for more because once these run out of stock, you can never get them again, mm -hmm. unless they of course restock it, or at least there should be two in here. Well, now I gotta open it because it only looks like one, but let me make sure. Well, could, you, you want to check and see if they packed them separately, maybe? Well, yeah, I can do that. Because then, because I feel like the Pokemon Center, if you can get away with keeping that one sealed. Oh, you're right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Ooh, good call. Okay. Good call. Good call. <laughs> um, Yeah. And then you got your basic energies. And this looks pretty dope. I'm not going to lie. It has a shine to it, too. Look at that. Yeah. Very nice. I like the colors. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. I like the colors. Give us the rings. Yeah. Give us the rings. You remember uh -huh. that? Seamus, full throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know the reference. Yeah. Um, and then what else do we got in here? It should be cards and sleeve. Well, you just gave go. it away. <laughs> yeah. There's the code. One of you guys can have that. Oh, the light was covering it. There you go. Nice. And um, these are going to be the card backs. So I wish they would have just done the same white and blue coloration they did for the dividers for the card backs. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. They do look different, huh? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like primarily like dark purple or something versus, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I right. would have liked the, uh, I like that blue and white. Right, right, right. It looks nice. Yeah, it does look cool. Yeah. And then what we all are waiting for, the packs. I really wish they would switch this up, man. It, <laughs> it's like, man, you, you, you guys can definitely come up with different designs. The dice, uh, you know, just regular dice. I do like the colors in the dice, but yeah, with the tokens, 
Think about like back in the day with like pogs. There was some really cool pogs. Like if they made them from like metal, that would be dope. You know, like if like yeah, they yeah, used yeah, to make the old slammers. slammers. Um, yeah, they could certainly do something way better than what they're currently doing with the tokens. Yep. Um, and then the packs, of course, there should be 11 in here, but let's go ahead and take a look at the art. Uh, so yeah, iron leaves, waking, wake, whatever you call them, <laughs> whatever they're calling these guys now. That guy. Yeah. This guy, that guy, giraffe guy. Yeah. With that guy. Yeah. Um, yep. So I think we have 11, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Yeah. We're good to go. So let's go ahead. I'm going to move this out of the way. So I have some room here. Let me help. Yeah, please. Hey guys, Pokey Samix here with my brother Justin. We'd like to say thank you so much for the support. And if you don't mind, please click that sub, like, and leave a comment down below. Thank you guys. Now back to your video. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Hopefully we get some good pulls. Uh, this said, I would, well, I'll wait till the end of the video. Um, so let's go ahead and open it and wish me good luck on these pulls. And me. let's hope we get something cool. Yeah, plenty of uh, plenty of interesting ones in here. I think you got uh, you got the Gengar Altar card. There's um, there's the Bianca Altar, which is not the coolest card in the world, but it's got some value to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, like you were saying, the Airy card is kind of cool. There's also um, yeah, the Iron the Iron Crown. As I said at the beginning, the two legendaries is obviously going to be like the chase cards or whatnot. So there is definitely, you know, some cool chase cards in here. Uh, definitely Gengar's though. Gengar's always gained value over time. He's just such a popular Pokemon that, you know. Ooh, all right, right so, out the gate. Yeah, right out the gate. So we got a, this, so this isn't the SIR version, but this is a ultra rare. So that's the gouging fire. I believe it goes for like $4, um, but it is cool. So I'm going to say this, like, so the original Ente and Sui Sween, um are just infinitely better, like, than these. Uh, I just don't know how I feel about their design. Like, I know they're supposed to be alternate versions, like, of past and future and stuff. I, I wouldn't go so far as to say I hate them, but I do, I'm not, I'm not like, you know, like a regular Ente right now, I would be like, bro, oh my gosh, I got Ente, you know, that's sick. And then, you know, I, I don't know. It's just like the hat kind of just, I don't know. It kind of kills it for me, man. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. They're yeah. really into the hats. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe it'll grow on me. Yeah. They really are with the terraform <laughs> and then with like these. Yeah. But I don't know. I like, I mean, it, Entei being one of my favorite Pokemon is why I take it to heart so much because he he is like one of my all time favorites alongside like Lugia and Sui Swin and you know I mean but well they were like uh, they were featured in movies while we were still yeah playing. exactly it's nostalgia I I'm always gonna love those like OG legendary Pokemon like they're they're just nothing is ever gonna top it yeah. So when I see it redone like this, I'm just automatically going to be critical of it because it you know, holds a special place in your heart. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, but as I said, uh, I'm happy about it. That's awesome. First pack we got something. So I'm, I'm, you know, I'm not mad about it. I just wanted to give my honest thoughts about it, and I still think it's a cool card. I'm just saying that, you know, me personally, I think the OGs look way better. Yeah, and hopefully, hopefully, uh, if anybody has read about the pull rates from like these sets, it's uh, oh another one, Raging Bull EX. Excellent. Nice. Okay, well, so this is just a normal, yeah. So this is just a normal EX, but still, that's a hit. So hopefully, we're not getting all our hits up front, and then we get nothing in the next uh, nine packs. But if so, yeah, I mean. Uh, you know, that's two for two right now, so I can't complain about that. Oh, you know what would be super five head is like with everyone posting that the hit rates for this set has not been that good. But what if the Pokemon Center ones are like busted? busted? Yeah, yeah, like secretly cracked. Oh, that'd Come be on. pretty crazy. Yeah, <laughs> that would be some five head marketing. I feel like it would be actually. Yeah. yeah, it's like the normal ETBs are like you get like one hit out, out of per ETB and then the Pokemon Center ones you get like five. Oh yeah. You would buy the Pokemon Center one every time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I could see Pokemon Company doing that. Of course. <laughs> of course there are. Yes. They're all about that. Look at right? that Haunter. Um, yeah, my boy. Oh, look at that Pikachu. 
Oh, oh boy, it's, 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 yeah, yeah, it's like kind of like old school Pika. Yeah, it is. You little chonky. Yeah. Little chonky boy. Oh, is there something? I think there's something back there. What is that? Oh. <laughs> dude, you, you gotta stop. Every time you're like, there's something there. Well, oh, dude, especially with the lighting, it seems to be like not just regular shiny. And there's our boy, one of the OGs speaking Look at that. Look at that, dude. It looks so sick. Yeah, that is a sick card. Yeah, I do have to say though that the uh, like like you were saying the Suicune, Suisun, however the heck you say it, um, that one in particular does not look that great. But I think some of the other ones actually look pretty decent. Yeah, I like the Barizian that they uh, they rehashed and that Inte. It's it's not it's not offensive, you know. Um, yeah, he's got a big hat. <laughs> yeah, I just I mean Iron Crown's pretty cool. Yeah, Iron Crown's really cool. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't mind pulling cool. that. Yeah, that one's great, right? Uh, so we've got uh, two hits so far. Oh, you got another one? Explorer's Guidance. What the heck? Interesting. Three for three? No, I don't. Wait, is that is this the third pack? Isn't it? Uh, let me see. Oh, uh, wait, no, you pulled the Four Alligator. That was the fourth pack. So yeah, three yeah, for so four. Three for four. That's still like really good. Um, but yeah. Here we were talking about how concerned we were with like the adjusted. Well, hit this rates. could be an anomaly, right? I could just be getting like really lucky. That's an interesting looking card. I actually like it. I know that you're not about the the dude trainers usually, and it's not that interesting of a card overall. He's just kind of holding a lantern. Oh, it's all right. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. So usually the when I complain about it, it's like if I'm like five, like four booster boxes in, and I <laughs> keep pulling the guy cards, and I have like four copies, then I'm just like, okay, come on, man. Yeah. But it's a new set, and so anything I get is like, you know what I'm saying? It's I need it. So it, I'm not bothered by it. I need it. Yeah, yeah. I need it. Or I want it, rather. Yeah. No, no, I know what you mean. You need it, bro. Yeah. Don't, don't, don't go back on that. Yeah, you yeah. need it. So this is gonna be pack number five. So far, this is pretty cracked. I'm not gonna lie. So we'll see if we can keep it up. Keeps the ball going. Okay, at first, man. Ugh. Yeah, you're gonna get baited every I mean, time. The way that the light hits it, man. Yeah, yeah, Scarlet and Violet just loves doing it to you. Yeah, and it's just too. You know, you don't see the shimmery edges in the old pack, so. And you would think by now that I would be used to it, but now it's like the boy who cried wolf, right? Every single pack you open, you're like, nah. Yeah. It's not anything. Yeah. And yeah. then it ends up being god tier. All right. Uh, pack six? I believe so, yeah. yeah. Let's see. I do like a lot of the regular cards they have included in this set as well. Looks like Drampa. I like Drampa, dude. Look at that guy. He's like, hey, what's up, guy? He reminds me of... Um, yeah, he does look like a cartoon character. Pete, you know, from Puff the Magic Draft. What is that movie called? There was that old thing. It's a Disney movie where it was like half live action. And then Pete the Dragon was a cartoon character. He was the only cartoon character in the movie. Peach Dragon? Is that it? I know what you're talking about, but I don't remember it. Yeah. I do know what you're talking about, though. That's what it reminds me of. He just has like really thick black outlines on him. Yeah, it's very cartoony. Yeah, he looks like uh, like something you'd see in like uh, Jackie Chan's, uh, you know, like with the stones. What, what What is that show called where you get the stones uh, and, and then you like activate them for special powers? It was like such a cool, like, dude, it was like one of my favorite shows as a kid. The stones that activate for special powers with Jackie Chan? Yeah, dude. And then he had like the girl are you talking about with this uncle jackie dude there's no way you don't remember this there's man. more than one animated jackie chan show yeah and 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 it's like the stones dude you he, you like you 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 get powers from the stones oh i don't know man dude I'll i'm have to figure it out I'm sorry. ah man pause the video bro <laughs> i need to like show justin this there's no way Oh, yeah, there's the stones. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. we were thinking of the same yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 Jackie Chan Adventures, yeah. And then you get the stones and it gives you, like, powers. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I got you, I got you. Okay, good. I was about to say, there is no way. No, man, we still quote that show to this day with the whole Jackie yeah, thing. Dude. Jackie! I love that show, yeah, man. Yeah, great. That was just OG. What show. is that? It's definitely something. What is that? Sure. It's purple. It is purple. Fuchsia. What, is, what it? is that, dude? That is purple. Show me. Show me the money. Oh, and it's a trainer, too. All right, what do Ooh. we got here? Get it. Maximum belt. Dude, look at that sick hollow pattern, bro. What is this? That looks so crazy. Oh, there's, oh, there's another one. 
Dude, you've gotten so many hits over it. That hollow pattern is amazing. I love it. Yeah, what is this, man? Attacks used by the Pokemon this card is attached to do 50 more damage. That's kind that's of pretty big. That's kind of cracked, man. 50 damage. Oh, man, I love it, dude. I don't know what you call that. Fuchsia, Magenta. I don't know. Wait, oh, what does this say? It says Ace uh, spec. Ace spec. Huh, so they are definitely testing the waters with like new designs and stuff. That's crazy. Yeah, it looks awesome. I like it a lot. Huh. I didn't I didn't know this existed till just now. Oh, did you not? No. Yeah, I, I had seen a, like a kind of little preview of the uh, of the the pink fuchsia cards. Huh. Yeah, I like it a lot. Yeah, interesting, man. Yeah, this CTV is really good so far, yeah. I, especially considering the apparently the hit rates are like uh, double what Paradox is. Like uh, it's two, half as good. Half is good. Yeah, that's basically what I was looking for. So it's kind of surprising that I've gotten four hits in the CTV. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, this is really interesting to me. It's uh, such a unique. I wonder if it's just for this this set specifically, or if we're gonna see like more of that like going forward. Yeah. Which I would kind of be happy. Yeah, if they start testing out like different designs and stuff like that. Like I think. Especially as like printing and stuff advances like that, this becomes a lot easier, right? Sure. So they're kind of like testing and jumping around and theorizing new ways. So I'm 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 here for it, man. Yeah, I mean, because I'm sure like printing something like that back in the 1990s would have been you know so expensive, like prohibitive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, dude, I saw purple and I was like, You're like what is uh, like, dude, a purple Pokemon card? Ooh, got another one. Iron Crown. Hey. Wait, is that a... Okay, no, we got Raging Bolt. Yeah, so Iron Crown. You almost got uh, all of them. I know, I did. It's, this is interesting to me, yeah. I, I feel like this is unusual, for oh, sure. Oh, yeah, you're almost... It's almost been every pack so far. Yeah, uh, this is a uh, kind of nutty ETB, to be honest. I'm going to be very interested to see if Justin yeah. pulls uh, the same hit rates here, because apparently it's, like, hard to hit stuff. Uh, I know, I think it's 1 in 84 is any SIR, and then like 1 in 365 is like specific. I don't know. I'd have to look it up again. They posted it on the Pokemon restocks thing. I love um, those uh, those hit rate charts. I'll put it up here with credit to the uh, Pokemon yeah, uh, yeah, restock yeah. Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They posted the hit rates. Uh, I could be completely wrong about what I just said, but I, I do know they, they did post it, but I only glanced at it, so my numbers could be off, but I do know it's way more difficult to master set than Paradox Rift. I'm getting jibated again. Yeah, yeah, okay. That'd be pretty insane if I pulled like another like uh, big hit out of these. I mean, five hits from an ETB is already like really good. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah, it's been dope. Yeah. The, the purple one, definitely my personal fave. Uh, I like the cross hatch hollow pattern it has on there too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool yeah. colors, cool hollow pattern. I'm into it. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Give me more of that. All right, let's see. So we've got this and one more pack. Will there be anything else in there? Stay tuned. Uh, oh, it's my boy. Is that a hit? No, it's not. Oh, okay. It's just a regular. Yeah, it's sick though. Yeah. Old belly drum boy. Yeah. Iron thorns. Still sick looking regular right Yeah, now. yeah, yeah. All right, last pack, bro. Last pack magic. Let's see if we can make it happen. Yeah. If we do, that's the sixth hit in the CTB, which is incredible. That would be over 50% hit rate. Yeah. So let's find out. Give my boy the Gengar. Come on, yeah. just do it. You've already been good. Like, my, just do it. Just do it. All right, come on. Last pack magic. Here we go. Give me something good here as I've gotten like yeah. five hits. Give me something. But man, it's like, hey, just keep it rolling. Why yeah, not, you know? Nope. That's it. All right, well, still though. So that is going to be the Pokemon Center ETB. Here are the hits I've gotten. This, yeah, this kind of blows my mind a little bit. Yeah, I mean, it is kind of nutty, right? Like, I feel like they need to do more of this, like, because the suspense and joy I had when I was looking behind that card and I was like what card in this set has a purple border so that was like extremely interesting to me I love to see it um and then other than that we got the gouging fire and then two EXs I mean we didn't like you know we didn't get rich here but definitely we, we you know it's, did good. we did good yeah five hits uh for sure I mean I can't be mad about it especially considering most people are saying that this set has not 
great pull rate. So I'm happy about it. And I appreciate you guys being here. Don't forget to click that sub button, like button, all that good stuff. Leave a comment down below. If you enjoy the content, let me know what hits that you got. Um, if you don't mind sharing and uh, Justin will be up next, he's going to be opening the opposite ETB. So it's my turn. It is his turn. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time and y'all have a good one. Peace. Hasta la pasta.